Hey everyone, Cody here, and today we're going to be doing a scraped painting. Um, I'm going to be using black, silver, gold, and white. I have them left over from the painting I just did over there, which will be in a separate video, the one before this most likely. And uh, yeah, so today we're going to do a scraped painting. We're going to start by doing a silver background. So we're going to go ahead and dip our paintbrush in there. And in our background, and it looks like my brush is dropping bristles. That's amazing. Oh, that's really working. Okay, so I'm not going to use that brush, <laughs> it's just putting bristles everywhere. So let's go ahead and if we can spread that out. Get that bristle out of there. smudges on there but it's okay because we're going to be using those colors anyway. All right so we've got a nice little background. You probably can't see it too well. Silver is really, um, silver isn't very bright <laughs> so it's hard to see the silver. It looks like white. Anyway we're going to go ahead and start and we're going to start with black. And so we're going to just run it along the edge here. And we're going to pull it through and we're going to be kind of forceful with it. We're going to really put some pressure into pulling this color through. not going as far as I'd hoped. Almost not going at all. All right, so we'll flip it around. So we've got it flipped around. We're gonna go ahead and run some black on the other side. see if we can get to cover more of the painting. Now, this is kind of a challenge to do with these little paintings, or these little canvases. These cheaper canvases, because this is like a value canvas, it's not a good one. Um, they're not, the, the gesso I guess that they use is kind of cheap, but also like they sink in, so it's hard to do with like scrape painting sometimes because they sink in but also because the gloss enamel doesn't really have any body to it, um, it it's harder to work with as far as getting it to like slide because it, it there's it's not very thick so like acrylic and oil it's got body to it so when you scrape it you know kind of like has that body to go all the way the gloss enamel is a little more difficult to work with in that regard but what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and move on and we'll come back to the black. So we're just going to go ahead and layer our next, our next layer and then we'll go to white and then we'll go back to black. So we're going to kind of push this out and we're going to pull this through.
So let's actually flip it around and I put a little gold on the top. Slide that up a little. Put some gold on the top and then we'll bring it down and then we'll move on to white. So let's get it out to the edges. I'm not too worried about the edges not being covered. I could always just kind of uh, paint the sides black. But what I really want to do is just kind of get some layers going in here with these colors. got some some designs going almost um, so now we'll move into white actually let's do silver again because I think what I'll do is black and then white again so we'll go ahead and put that on there and I almost always go from left to right I don't know why it's just kind of a thing that I do I can't I can't explain why I do it <laughs> This is kind of my technique, I guess. It's just my preference. All right, so we're gonna carve this layer into the next one, and you can see that it's it's kind of mixing the two layers. The silver starting to fill in where the gold left off last in the last layer. And I'm just gonna pull it through a little bit more. If we can get a little more coverage out of it. Cool. So we'll move on to the next layer. We'll overlap it just a little bit. Okay. And now I'll stop moving. Err. Okay. Okay, it's moving around a little too much. Anyway, so now what we're going to do is we're going to do a mix of black and white. And I'm just going to kind of put it on there. We'll almost make Kind of like a Pollock type thing, but you know, just like a little design that'll actually show up in the layers. You'll see. So let me pull this back. And all the way to the back. And we're gonna push kinda hard only to kind of push those layers into each other. So I'm not like Scraping as hard as I possibly can. See, now we're getting the uh, now we're getting that wave feel. And we're gonna overlap a little bit. I'm just gonna pull that. So, the problem I have with this is that we're losing all semblance of other color. So, because we put so much black and white, it's covering pretty much everything else, um, which I don't want. Um, I do want the gold and the silver to come through. So we're going to go ahead and add more gold and silver to kind of offset that and hopefully mix in with these other colors. What we're 
going to do is we're going to kind of pull into it and then go back and go over the edge and then pull it through. Too much, too much silver and gold. I don't think I can win here. I don't think there's any way. So obviously it's too light now and normally yeah, I could just stop and kind of count it as a loss but I really feel like there's something here we're just not getting it so against my better judgment we're gonna go ahead and add a final layer we're just going to use all of the colors here just a small amount of each one I know I say small amount, but it's actually took up like half the painting. <clears throat> uh, I'm gonna do a little bit more black. All right, so this is it. And I hope that pulling this out, pulling these colors out is going to fix this painting. some of the colors, go back, and run them through. And pull it slowly and methodically. Now I'm losing it. Uh, it's still, it's just too light for me. I don't like how light it is. I'm trying to, trying to fix it by pulling it through and it's just not happening. I hope is that I can use some of this black to kind of I'm done. It's, it's beyond salvage. Uh, it's a little frustrating, but it happens. So let me go ahead and show you guys the, uh, the final painting. I really don't like it. <laughs> I really don't. Uh, that's that's kind of like the, the downward perspective. That's what it looks like overall. I don't know. It's too gray for me. I guess it's not um, a bad painting per se, but I don't know. 
not my favorite, but it is what it is. It happens, and just kind of move on or start over or do whatever. But I don't know. That's it, guys. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care, guys. Bye.